If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check out FIFA Ultimate Team Coins. Their link will be in the description and use the code ETHONY to get 5% off. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another player review. We are going to be looking at one of the more extinct players other than Diabala and that is Wilson. Very, very hard player to get, very rare and is rarely on the market. So, how does he play? Is he worth sniping? Is he worth waiting just to appear on the market and be fast enough to snipe him? That's what we're going to find out. If you guys are looking for a cheap place to get PSN cards, Microsoft points, or cheap games, check the link in the description. Use the code ETHONY to get uh, a nice little discount. And here we go. So, Team of Season Wilson, I was lucky enough to pack him. And uh, basically, let me just say that he is very, very effective for FIFA 15. And you guys pretty much know what I'm trying to say. He is very effective for FIFA 15 because of his pace. And... His sprint dribbling is just so overpowered. You look at his dribbling and his in-game stats, or even on his card stats, it isn't that great. But because of his agility, because of how fast he is, and his agility isn't that high. So I don't even know why he feels so agile. He has very good balance as well. So he feels like an Ababo, but a silver version. So if you're into that sort of playstyle, then that is exactly what you're going to be going for with Team of the Season Wilson. He feels very, very much like Ababo, just a bit weaker. And... And um, finesse shots are pretty shit with this guy. Don't even bother with them. There is none I, I think I got on target. Three star skills and he is pretty weak in my opinion. I said he is close to a barbell but that's the only thing that is different about both of them. But finishing in the penalty area he is decent at best. Um, sometimes he will miss, sometimes he will score. He isn't extremely reliable when it comes down to the penalty area. But what I basically do is just run past the keeper, then you have an open goal, then you just score. So. His pace is very fucking scary in this game. Seriously, one of the fastest players I have tried, and this guy isn't that short. He's 5'10", 5'9", I think, somewhere around there. He isn't short, but he just feels so agile, and this is something that I really like about him because his dribbling isn't the best, but it doesn't. It just doesn't feel that bad on the pitch, so I'm not going to put his dribbling to be bad. It's decent. You can dribble past defenders, and one thing that I love about him is one small, def one small mistake by a defender, and he is gone. He is gone, and he's through onto goal. So if you don't, if you're not able to slide tackle him or stand tackle him, he is through onto goal, and that is something that is very dangerous in this game. Very effective for over the top through balls or through balls in general. This guy can easily just run past anyone. So I played against a couple of silver uh, defenders that were very fast and they were having trouble to stop him. He has very good balance and I think that's sometimes why he might feel, uh, you know, a bit stronger. But for me, in general, he was just weak. Um, but very effective in this game. Definitely recommend him. One of the better silver versions I have tried out from from all the team of the season players I have tried. Um, his partner Dini, I didn't see, I didn't feel he was that great to be honest. He wasn't exactly helping him much. But Wilson, very very awesome player. Very effective in this game. If you rely on sprint dribbling, over the top through balls, or play with Obabo or Dumbia, he plays pretty much like them. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. The only bad things about him is his finesse shots, free star skills, and he felt weak. So other than that, very effective for FIFA 15. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below who would you like me to review tomorrow. Actually, I might not do a review tomorrow because a new team of the season should be out, hopefully, which is a BPL one. So, maybe we could get some BPL players going. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. He is going to get a 9 out of 10.